But what the f even is E. coli? What are the symptoms I need to look out for? How do I know if I'm totally boned? I'm Peter, I know things, and I'm here to help. E. coli, or Escherichia coli, that's a science word, is a bacteria that, in most cases, is actually pretty harmless. And some types are actually pretty good for your gut, but some types are deadly. Most recently, there's been an outbreak in the US that spanned 29 states with around 150 reported cases. There was even one death in early May. The reason that this particular outbreak has been so bad is because of the strain that produces something called Shiga toxin. Shiga toxin. This stuff is really bad for your tummy. Let me paint you a picture. Shiga toxin is like the Incredible Hulk. And your gut is like, well, Ant-Man. Except it's not like Ant-Man, it's like a literal ant, man. And Shiga toxin, it smashes your gut. It's gross, it sucks. So if you're like me and you can't get enough of that sweet, sweet, crispy green, and you think you might've caught a Shiga toxin producing strain of E. coli, here are the symptoms to look out for. Symptom one, abdominal cramps. It's like a tummy ache, but way worse. The pain might get so bad that you'll be curled into a fetal position. You might even have trouble walking. Symptom two, nausea and vomiting. If you can't hold down any food, this is a bad sign. Unless you're on a roller coaster, vomiting without warning is not cool. You know about them loopy loops. Symptom three, bloody diarrhea, poo blood. This is the big one. But don't think that you're looking for like a pool of blood in the toilet. Bloody diarrhea doesn't look like the doors opening on the elevator in The Shining. It usually just looks like black poop. It's terrifying. One hot tip for you though, it's important to note that you definitely shouldn't take antibiotics. It won't help and it might make it worse. The best advice, drink plenty and plenty of fluids to help prevent yourself from getting dehydrated from all the diarrhea and vomiting. But definitely go to a doctor or a clinic. Just note that if they try to give you antibiotics, get the heck out of there, kick them to the curb, get a new doctor. This is all well and good, but how do I just avoid getting E. coli altogether? It's actually pretty simple if you stay aware. A quick Google search will reveal that this particular E. coli outbreak came from romaine lettuce grown in the Yuma Valley in Arizona. So if you can confirm that the lettuce you're eating came from literally anywhere else, you're probably good. Produce can be a little hard to track down though, so if there's not an origin listed on it, just avoid it. Don't f with it. There, I saved your life. This is the first vegetable I've eaten in weeks. Uh oh, here's Johnny. Big ups to Magic Mountain. Shout out to Bush Gardens. What you know about Cedar Point? Goes out to everyone at Great Adventure. Is that a thing? Yeah, man, that's the way we do it.